Good evening, Paul. I'm just asking, just asking again, how are you? If you are being traumatized because last days I received that call from the military veterans that you can be traumatized. So again, I'm asking, how are you? Are you traumatized? I received some calls, uh, some mm, uh, messages from some suspicious people who are in shame to show their true identity, identity and their names and face, but they try hard and intrusive to reach me and tell me that they have something to tell about you. Well, I could be, you know, I can be in some way crazy. Show me the the not crazy at all person in this world. I can be in some way crazy, but um, if I believed in opinions of somebody who is in shame and in confusion to show their identity and face, but they want to talk to me and tell me something, but I cannot see your face for 10 minutes to get to know you are safe and not traumatized. If I'd believe in such a people who have no courage to show their identity and face, I'd be indeed deeply crazy. It was like I believed that the planes I used to fly so many times could blow out, could cause the towers exploding in a second. Believing in a people who do not show their identity, like Shannon, uh, John, and but believing in the people that have no courage to show their identity and real name. I don't need to be really crazy. Like I was believing that a plane causes the tower exploding in seconds. So I'm just asking. Uh, if you are still traumatized, like that time ago, when you are begging to see me, wherever I will be, wherever I will perform, when you are begging to see me, and then you are telling, telling me I must go to bathroom not to cry as a small boy before departure, before the departure, you are telling me I must go to the bathroom not to cry as a small boy. And when we are sharing the tender, tender and hot and a kiss, you are telling me, but I love my job. Well, <sighs> but I love my job. But somebody in your job tells that I can be an enemy or a prostitute. Some of your old friends says I'd be an enemy or a prostitute. And the other thing, kissing me right after your I must go to bathroom not to cry as a small boy, you tell me, but I love my job. Thinking about the thousands and thousands of cases of the sexual assault in the army, 
I just want to know for sure we are not being traumatized. Because I got some calls, you can be traumatized, intimidated and traumatized from the army veterans. Actually, the army veteran, his voice was shaking, shaking, you know, man in the edge, like, I suppose, about 60 or more. But he couldn't talk to me like normally, you know, like without stress. So I'm just asking, I hope you're not traumatized. Still and still. Paul Robert Bullard. And what's on what's on the believing in the guys who are in shame, in confusion to show their face and the real names that they struggle hard to reach me and tell me opinions before telling a respectful a respectful hello. I don't need to be sick to let such a people control my life and my feelings. So even if, I, if they do for a while, I need to hold them to the feelings rather than to the people in shame who do not tell you hello or my name is or do not show their face and yet they try to influence your feelings and opinions and knowledge. I think it's a shame. And so I should not give my power to it. I hope you are not traumatized. And that, and I trust the word I was given that I will see you safe in a good mental and emotional condition. Hugs, Paul.